Hello everyone, Nico and me here, and today I saw some info leaked online, and I'm gonna read some of it. I wrote it off so I can be like a little news reporter with like a teleprompter. Yes, I'm very professional. Um, before we get into it, not urgent news, but in about an hour from now, uh, there will be a live stream uh, from Pokemon and on Pokenchi. It's like a TV show in Japan, and it's going to air, and uh, apparently we're going to get new footage. Some people think it's going to be the same footage we got from the Direct. Uh, hopefully it's new footage, and if it is, we might be able to see if these rumored ideas are uh, true or not. So apparently this guy on the internet, a very specific, uh, he met with Masuda and the Pokemon team, among a lot of other uh, people, and they got a brochure, and they saw some videos on the new um, Pokemon game. It was very cool, I guess. And um, he has lots and lots of details. Um, as you guys know, with lots of details, it's either super accurate or super, super out there. So he definitely spent a lot of time, and a lot of this seems really accurate. And I know we hear lots of rumors a lot, but if you think about it, a lot of the leaks we've gotten have actually came to be true. Uh, as The sun and the moon. A lot of people thought that was a fake leak at first, and look what happened. We're talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out in holiday 2016 for sure now. So, um... It could be true. We'll probably see in the near future if this is, if any of this seems to be true, we can assume this whole thing is true. So, okay. So, the video is shown. It's very tropical. Um, and there are, um, they showed old Pokemon games aside the new ones and kind of showed, like the direct, how it came from the old Pokemon games to the new. Um, it's a tropical region. There's four islands and one really big island of the four and the other ones are kind of smaller compared to it um reminds me of Hoenn a bit because obviously there's like the big island and some side islands and I'm here for that I really really like uh tropical regions and I'd be here for um Hoenn 2.0 I think that'd be cool um so this also raises the question is it based off Hawaii or is it based off like um, there's a lot of people saying it was like Southeast Asia, like the West Indies and um, Indonesia and all that, those places. So those are definitely islands too. So it could be a Hawaii, it could be uh, somewhere in Southeast or Southwest Asia. I forgot which one people thought it was. Anyway, um, um, the starters. The grass starter, which I think it be, might be my favorite based on this description. It's a green and pink stegosaurus. It's very funny and cute and it has like grass petals around its like feet. The fire starter is an orange cat with a uh, smoky fur torso and it has fire zigzags on its like face uh, that look like a tiger's zigzags. So that sounds cool and the water one is the one I'm least excited for. I really hope I mean, I usually pick the water starter. I liked, well, I, I pick Finnegan over Froakie, but uh, a lot of people pick Froakie. I like Squirtle, Totodile, uh, Mudkip, Pipplup, Ah, sure. I usually pick the water. So if this is true, I probably won't pick the water. It's a hermit crab with a jet pack on its back as a back. Um, that sounds cool, but we have tons and tons of crabs, let alone water crabs. We have Kingler, we have Crawdown, we have Corefish, which is part of Crawdown. We have that other one that came out in uh, Kalos. I forgot its name right now. But there are a lot and a lot of crabs, water especially. So, um... That one seems a little less interesting. The other two seem pretty cool. Stegosaurus, a lot of the plant or uh, grass Pokemon seem based off of dinosaurs, but pink and green Stegosaurus seems a little bit like Meganium, but uh, I'm sure there would be differences if that's true. Uh, and then definitely the fire cat seems original. So the sun Pokemon is based off Clarity. It's orange, pink, and reddish, and it is a fire fairy. That's a unique type we've never seen before, and that seems pretty cool. Uh, the Moon Legendary is based off Void, Sun, Clarity, Moon, Void. Um, the Its colors are black, blue, and teal, and it's a Psychic Dark, which is another type we haven't seen yet, I don't believe so. So, um, oh, wait, is Hoopa Dark? Psych I don't know, but it's an uncommon type nonetheless. So, um, that's bo they both sound pretty cool. Uh, Fire Fairy, I'm sure, will be a pretty cool typing, uh, uh, especially. So the trainers, again, this is only, he said it was only a two-minute clip. So this thing, these things kind of just went bye, 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 bye. Hopefully we'll see the two, the same clip tonight. Uh, hoping this video will be out by 
the, the live stream, that would be kind of bad, but uh, we'd know. Uh, so the trainers, the trainers are based off the tropical region. The guy, it has like braids, but like not uh, dreadlocks and he's more tropical and uh, he is kind of like a carefree attitude and one of those like, they, he described it as like a tropical Hawaiian boy of some sort. Um, and he has dreadlocks and stuff. And he's wearing a pretty long um, swimsuit. Uh, I guess he's a surfer, maybe, I don't know. And the girl is a tomboy with like raggedy hair and um, she has like shorts on and yeah, that's how she, he described both of those trainers. So that's all I have for this. I'm also doing a top 10, you probably can't see that, but my top 10 things I'm most excited for and I hope to see in Pokemon Sun and Moon. No matter what, that video will definitely be up, but um, so yeah, hopefully these things are real. I'm not a huge fan of the water starter, and it's kind of disappointing because I usually use the water, but I don't know. The grass one seems pretty cool. We'll see if this is true or not. Um, a random guy meeting up with Masuda in some random place, doesn't even say his name. Seems a little fake. Also, keep in mind, uh, this was posted in America's April Fool's Day, but he said he posted it from Japan. So it wasn't April Fool's Day in Japan when he posted it. So we'll see. I'm going to upload this now so it happens before the live stream. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for more Pokemon Sun and Moon news and other things that I'll be showing very, very soon, my top 10 hopes, um, subscribe. Goodbye.